can't make it to the resort, we're here today to show you how we get kids having fun snowboarding in the backyard. We're going to build a riglet park, which is essentially a snowboarding playground inside our backyard to work on skills like balance and strength. Hi, my name's Jeff Beliba, and I've been snowboarding since 1985, and I started building terrain parks in 1996 and got a chance to come work for Burton here in Vermont in 2000. And it has enabled me to work with many different snowboarders and resorts all around the world, whether it's building stash runs, making riglet parks for kids, uh, just incredible stuff. And today I'm really excited to share with you how you can make a backyard riglet park. Let's first talk about product. Burton creates products so you can start your kids on a snowboard indoors and then progress outside. So what's great about the riglet park and being in the backyard, you can use a riglet board, you can use a chopper or chiclet board. We also make a throwback board, which is awesome for just cruising around and getting quick laps in. The riglet reel attaches to the nose of the snowboard, has a little handle, which actually you can adjust, and allows you to pull kids around, getting their initial sense of standing sideways right away. You don't need a hill, you don't need anything but flat ground. It's great to use indoors and outdoor on the grass, on the snow. This riglet reel attaches to Burton Kids snowboards 80 centimeter all the way up to 120 centimeters. We make a kid's handlebar, which is a learning tool that is absolutely incredible. The handlebar is a grab bar that attaches to any Burton Kids snowboard 80 centimeters to 110 centimeters. It's really rad because kids will see it, they'll walk right over to it, grab the handle, step on the board, and then they can instantly get their first standing sideways feeling and it's just money. It, it, parents all of a sudden are stoked because their kids are instantly having fun. This tool is incredible and you'll notice on the handlebar it's adjustable so we can get it adjusted perfectly to a child's height. It has little grab mats where the bindings typically are so the kids know exactly where to stand and that's probably the most powerful thing about this handlebar. Our friends at Anon make some of the best helmets in the world and we always recommend that kids wear a helmet when snowboarding. Today we are going to walk you through a basic backyard riglet park you can create using basic household items. The most important thing about building a riglet park in your backyard is be creative. As you build your course, have the kids help. Here are some examples to help you create a simple course. For this backyard basic riglet park, find a branch and we're gonna show you how to turn that into a nice little roller for the kids. So when we're building these riglet style features for kids, be mindful of the compression zone. And specifically, when you're building backyard riglet features, understand the compression zone. The compression zone is the gap in the transition between the board and the snow. A small gap creates a gentler compression zone, and that is what we want for riglet features. If you want to take your outdoor riglet park up a notch, continue to add items to the course to make it more challenging. It could be fun to increase difficulty by placing a recycle bin or a bucket along the course and have the kids toss a ball in it, all while being pulled standing sideways. You could add a challenge in of doing a 180 or a 360 to work on their rotation. Your creativity can come into full play here. Keep it fun and exciting by drawing a box at the end of the course and having kids stop and pose in their favorite grab. Okay, the kids are crushing it. It's time to take it up a notch. This is where we can get really creative. Parents, grab a shovel. Start with a small snow ramp to help your kids get comfortable with the motion of going downhill. Next, we're going to make a limbo with two trash cans and a stick. So now we're gonna make a quarter pipe and you can farm snow around the yard, push it into one area and then shape it shape a little bit of transition and if you want to get real fancy you can add a little log for coping and to add even more fun. You can build some small snow rollers for kids to get pulled over. Now we're going to turn a household recycle bin into a mini tabletop. So what you want to do is flip the recycle bin over, grab your snow shovel, push up transitions on both sides, make sure and pack the snow down, smooth it out, and then you can get the sensation of what it feels like to hit a mini version of a tabletop, not at a resort, right in your backyard. 
No matter what you have at home, if you have a Burton Kids snowboard and an imagination, you can create the best backyard Riglet Park that will keep kids entertained for hours. For more step-by-step -step directions on how to build a backyard Riglet Park, check out Burton's blog on Burton.com.